cam, which points directly to the sun that is monitoring the solar flare activity and also monitoring our sun. But indeed as well, we're picking up the same similar effects of these objects moving in front of this camera that is positioned straight towards this object. Now they implicate that the object is pointing northeast, this huge stellar body. I've implicated the object as well by explaining about it being northeast because I've had scientists, I've had astronomers, also explain, Matt, when you're looking up towards the skies, even when you use webcams or photography or other people's pieces of evidence, when they mention northeast, you point northeast. This is where this object is. Now, indeed, many years ago, the object was much smaller in size. It was so easy to discard the object using technology because it was so far away. But indeed, now we're seeing moons, we're seeing planets, and also we're seeing this dark star just above the Earth's atmosphere. Clear images of something that is moving across our solar system, moving, heading as a flyby. This photograph, when you look really closely at it, you can still see the stellar body around about here on the area view site. They explain as well, they notice the moons lined up as well to the lower half of this evidence. They explain folks, this is a huge solar blast something that hit the Earth's atmosphere, causing space and causing the planetary object as well to burst out much lighter than the blue skies. So how could that have happened? Look at the area view sites again. A solar blast hitting our atmosphere, causing the darkness of space to light up like daylight. Again, something is going on up there. Something is affecting our solar system. Do you remember the phase back in the 1950s by a psychological scientist that explained peace and harmony. We were in peace and harmony, folks. Our solar system, our clouds, our skies. But now, what is going on here? An Australian astronomer based in Sydney called Brendan Moore explained, you must show this photograph just once more, Matt, and explain what you're seeing. Look into the photograph. Notice that there is something out there. Now, going back to this evidence, I explained stars, but indeed, when you look closely, this does look like the mini constellation, the Planet X system. We could be seeing planets and moons just above on the photograph. We could be seeing Helion and other known heavenly bodies on this mini constellation that was predicted again and spoken about by Zachariah Sitchin and also Carlos Munoz Falada that mentioned Hercobalus. Look at the area as well. Look how dark this binary dark star, the brown dwarf that has entered our solar system with a mini constellation of stars. I'm absolutely blown away with this evidence and I apologize with this video again by speaking through the truth, showing you that all what we're seeing of these huge events across the world, strange skies, a difference, many strange colors appearing across the skylines, a solar simulator, something that is so different now because we all remember because we're all old school folks we think old school we know that the skies back in 1992 was so different the golden sun that appeared there was nothing else just wonderful cloud systems blue skies but now we're starting to see, see a difference and now we're starting to see evidence of a huge astronomical body in our solar system We must remember some time back as well, we spoke about the SPT telescope down at the South Pole. How on earth did they move that telescope and also why is it there? It could have been used elsewhere across the world and pick up even more crystal images through radio technology. But indeed as well, when you look at it, do they see this object? Can they view this object as well by multiple planets? And also in the background as well, we can see a dark star, a brown star through this area as well, through space. They must be able to have detected this. And indeed as well, some years ago when they used the binocular telescope down at the Vatican, the people that use the telescope in different areas, that is heat cooled systems. I mean, these telescopes are billions of dollars, folks. Taxpayers' money. And it goes into the research of heavenly bodies, something as well tracking these entities in our solar system. They've made their way back 
these objects have been here before and explain this while I've looked into detail about the events of these conditions across our solar system that these are on a 3,600 year elliptical orbit dipped down below where we notice the northern hemisphere it is so hard to detect these bodies but you can see the astronomical colors and the beams of light across the horizons I spoke as well to Roger that is based in our community and also Ross Ackerman and other astronomers as well like Jeff P explaining about the cover-up skies with the solar simulator now Roger Paul works very hard and we uh, admire him fully with his excellent work pointing out towards the cloud systems because he can see the astronomical colors through those cloud systems and they do and they are very much noticed just like what we witness of these other strange events across the skies again what we're seeing here is space look at these areas of view where we see these blue casting shadows and in between the casting shadow we've got the heavenly body you can see the curvature of the heavenly body as well directly on the photograph the beam of the heavenly body that is splitting through the atmosphere now there was some talk as well some time ago that scientists stated that our atmosphere is spilling into space that didn't happen before there was nothing suggested of that information way back in the 1980s so why now are we hearing about our atmosphere that is spilling into space is this evidence as well of our atmosphere moving across space look at these huge chunks of rock as well that get reported nearly now weekly but indeed some time back about five months ago they were being reported daily but why now are we seeing the evidence and reports weekly to three weeks now of these space rocks okay now we all know our heavenly body the Sun the Sun sucks in asteroids comets large chunks of rock meteorites planets but indeed as well this object that is described and also illustrated on the particular photograph round about here is far too large to be sucked in look at the size of the formation now with the characteristics of this body this object is lightening up so to the far right hand side we're seeing refractions of light from the Sun again implicated what I just suggested earlier on but indeed as well this object must be towards the back side of the Sun it's lightening up now we've seen other stellar bodies on different excellent channels of objects being much darker cast in dark shadows but indeed as well this what we see evidence on the screen is just one of those planets in this mini constellation so other planets showing up dark shadows must have been as well passing past the Sun heading towards towards us in our solar system as a flyby but indeed as well this object we will see this in the next coming months be much darker dimming out of a dark astronomical shadow because it's moving heading towards us heading towards through past the Sun as indicated as well any body that moves in front of the Sun just like Mercury Venus Uranus other known heavenly bodies in our solar system Mother Earth it shows as a dark spot because of the refraction of light in front of it but this object hasn't reached that phenomena at the moment so indeed as well this object is heading towards us but indeed it shows a huge light refraction you can see the size of this now folks this is a viewpoint from ground zero using a high performance telescope viewing the same body again notice those strange dark cloud systems in front of where we see this object they explain as well within matters of moments the object disappears those black cloud systems start building up and cover up the skies now it is so important to other channels out there as well to always look and search for planet X now a message to Steve Olson for many years ago we spoke about planet X we spoke about Nibiru Wormwood star and indeed by searching and also just looking and gathering as much evidence you're gonna find this object you're gonna find those stellar bodies it is so important to keep going and keep showing multiple pictures all the time because you're gonna come across the amazing captures of Hercobolus I'd like to big out as well a big thank you to Iris Turner that runs a channel as well from Florida United States explaining for many years now folks think about this these people have been sending out content video images and also strange sky sightings in high definition we must pay our biggest respect to those people as well because they've been working so hard many people out there 
that has stood strong to the truth that they will one day see this heavenly body. I must state as well that we have thousands upon thousands of Planet X researchers that all have a story to say, to state and tell as well, through documents. And the hidden information is so incredible. When we talk about Planet X, the system tries to turn on you. But indeed as well, all we're doing is and explaining, and I'd like to state this as well, I always say this on many videos, you all know this, to keep an open mind. We could be seeing absolutely anything. But again, these people that work in very high jobs that do come back to me and explain by email and show these pictures using high-tech technology. I mean, again, this is another picture that is described as to the right-hand side. We see our sun, refraction of light, the soul. And to this area as well, to the same area view side, just like the other captures, the same demonstration of the same shape of the celestial body that we saw at the beginning of the video is still showing up a large celestial body. I mean, it does look like six to seven times the size of Jupiter. Right from 2016, I've spoken to many people. Now, we must never divide the people because these channels have worked right from the very start. They have great passion to speak about the cosmos. Now, I spoke to many years ago, way back in 2016, around about September, around about the 12th of September, talking about Planet X and showing many photographs to Prep Aussie that is based in Australia, an astronomer and a fantastic guy, a good friend. Now, many times as well, people break up. People then, as we move different places and also with the family members and the hard work we put into things, sometimes it's difficult to keep track and also to keep in touch with those people and again I hope that people come back to me as well and also I will reach out to you and indeed as well that is a shame but indeed when we speak about Planet X it can be very touchy as a subject because I have read books and I've got illustrated video evidence as well that I keep in track as well about Lloyd Pye now Lloyd Pye was a military man and also into the scientific research of studying different advanced technology and also humanity. Now indeed he explained as well that rogue planets have entered our solar system for many years and indeed can affect our solar system, can affect our weather patterns and also other strange situations again on other planets, other heavenly bodies. But indeed as well he explained of Planet X. He goes with Zachary Sitchin's interesting history and also the information about Planet X. Rogue planets, folks. Hercobolis, Planet X, Nibiru. Something of a huge planet. Now, the discovery as well implicated about other humanoids on Planet X. That is a very, very interesting artifact. They explain as well that they used to sprinkle gold across above the atmosphere because of the sun's arrays that were destroying the planet. Now that goes to a point of very interest because what we do is we're doing or had been doing for many years now the similar situations of effects of our sun. I'll go back to that information about the soul and also that huge dark halo that surrounded the soul at a particular time through other years, other years being 2016, 2017. That was a very, very strange phenomena. Could it have been Planet X? Could we be seeing, or in our foreseeable future, that we see as well this object, Planet X? A binary star, folks, that carries the mini constellation of other stars in our solar system as we notice the plasma from the Sun being more effective now for 2021. So to the new viewers and also those old school viewers, those that have been standing strong, steadily, to see the implication different videos and broadcasts showing up a heavenly body close to our sun the soul a complete image that there is something out there now 
Where you notice this particular picture, you can see, can't you, this blue area. Now, this is what's caused with this blue area. It's a solar flare activity that is lighting up our space. The cosmic energy blowing across our solar system. Again, there is a huge object. Let me just zoom out to this particular picture because we need to see it's authentic. Are we still witnessing a conspiracy? Noticing the real pictures of our solar system showing up as well, light refractions from the sun, a huge explosion or something else with other planets. And then we notice this huge dark star, a binary star, a planet where we see the soul of the sun. Just another very important picture. I mean, we get artifacts on camera, photography as well, whilst taking pictures of light refractions from the sun. Just another very interesting broadcast showing up different pictures and also explaining about other channels doing a fantastic job working together, folks. This is what we need to do. The Alliance needs to work together to try and get the real information out. See, the thing is, I worked with uh, webcams for a great number of years and then I've been explaining many times to please send in any photograph, any graphic video evidence of something else towards the sun, planets, ufology, something again that looks so different across the skies. On the other video as well, the beginning of the video, it looks very strange and bizarre. Some of the captures look absolutely bizarre. But again, I respect the community. People state, Matt, can you show me, can you also send my photograph onto a video and please show your audience what I saw? But indeed, again, that person, that one person makes a big difference, folks. Just one person in our community that stands forward that is power folks because what you're doing is you're getting someone to take a photograph and show what their sightings are for others to see again the sighting could be just very unusual and also other people have explained through different pieces of photography very laughable but again at the end of the day we are showing the evidence and respecting our people this is the way it works. And also with these pictures, somebody's turned around folks and shown me the picture and this picture is valuable to all of us. Because the way it works, because that person has thought, hold on, Matt is showing pictures from different people across the world. And that is bigger suspect. So this person's gone around and stated, sod it, I'm gonna show Matt the picture. I'm gonna show Matt these pictures because he's respecting people. He's showing the photographs of what people are seeing, the video clips. They could be anything, but again, I respect the community. Folks, I hope you can see this photograph. I've left it in real time on the graphic evidence of another stellar body. Notice to this area, just this huge object, a huge planet in our solar system, and the red refraction of light towards the upper area and the lower area, like a cloud system or something. But again, this could be iron oxide plasma from the sun from the left hand side and also this object of interest the sky capture was taken by Tony Willis based in Melbourne in Australia this amateur photographer explained I'm glad I seen across the skies but this pink haze this strong refraction of light appeared like a beam of purple haze throughout the skies I can notice stars in the background still as well as an early morning rise but indeed explaining that this purple haze is becoming much more stronger now we've also explained about these colors are so important as well a blue refraction of light that is of another body we speak about as well of the blue kachina this red refraction of light is a dead worry folks I'm only suggesting what is being spoken about through the email of this red refraction of light coming from Wormwood Star, Nibiru, Planet X. Strong refractions of light throughout the skies. Now, there is a lot of things going on and had been going on these past couple of weeks across the world, but indeed we are still seeing the sky captures of today. So folks, thank you so much for watching this video. I will come back to you as well with more evidence. I've got some amazing clips to show you as well for other planets that have appeared across our solar system, other space bodies, folks, other artifacts, formations.
please again on every single broadcast keep an open mind please take care from your host Matt Rogers